Chambers from Gastonia Church, Souls Harbor Tabernacle. We're so glad to have you with us. Those that made it to church today, we're glad to have you. And those that are joining us by way of live streaming, we know of the couple that called in uh, sick, not going to be able to make it, said they'd be watching. We're praying for you. Hope you have a wonderful day in the Lord. Hope you get your healing today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's so good to see those that are here. We realize we have a lot of folks from our church on vacation this week and uh, some that uh, are sick and different things. It's good to have you that are here today. We appreciate having Sister Debbie back today. Debbie's been sick, been out for a long time, triple bypass surgery. It's just so good to see her back today. We're glad to have you today. Amen. Okay, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's so good to see you today. We just thank the Lord for you being here today. We're going to begin by prayer, and uh, we'd just like to remind you that the Gastonia Church streams live Sunday morning, Sunday night, 11 o'clock and 6 o'clock on Sunday night, and then 7 o'clock on Wednesday night. And all three of our churches right now are having services on Sunday at the same time. 11 o'clock worship, 6 o'clock on Sunday night, and uh, no, no Sunday school right now at the present time. We're going to get that back started someday, but we just feel like glad to leave that where it's at right now and just keep worshiping the Lord. On Wednesday night, we start at 7. Dallas starts Tuesday at 7. And Mortifer starts Thursday at uh, 7. So remember those times. If you can join any of us, we'd be glad to have you. Pray for the United States of America, especially to turn back to God like they ought to turn back to God. I don't feel like we, uh, anybody could see as a world, as a nation, we drifted away from the God we once served and pray that we'll all return. Pray for the TV ministry. Pray for all the requests that get called in. Pray for our church families, all three of the Souls Harbor churches. Pray for all three pastors. Keep praying for uh, the most recent requests that we've had. Sister Shirley Wilson, keep praying for her. Charles Clark, uh, Debbie Brooks, Colleen Woody, uh, Dee Dee Woody, Logan Fletcher, uh, Kay Eason, uh, Vernon and Debbie West. Debbie made it this morning. We're glad. Kaylee Eason. A.C. Wells did get a chance to talk to him yesterday. First time I talked to him since he's been gone. But the, uh, the woman at the desk took the phone to his room and let him talk to me. Amen. And uh, he said, tell everybody he loved you. And uh, he wanted to get back so bad. Amen. So pray for him. Pray for Chad Bridges and his mom. They've been sick. Don't we'll see them today. Pray for Linda Randall from Memorial Church. Pray for John and Marcia. Got a special need in their life. God touch them. Pray for the healing of Cat Wilson and her, especially her eyes that she needs to touch. Uh, pray for uh, Nettie Tigg. She's been in the hospital this week. Please keep her in your prayers. Uh, Steve Fuel still needs her prayers. He navigates through 40 days of uh, tests and treatments that he's got to go through. Uh, I think he did four of them last week, so they didn't do any Friday. So just pray for him. Pray for Pastor Poole, been in the hospital this week, having some chest pains and some problems with his heart. Blood pressure was real high, I think like 200 over 100 or something like that. But uh, he is home with more tests scheduled, so just be praying for him. Pray for my sisters, Betty and Charles. Uh, Shook, they've been sick, both of them battling sickness in their body. Louise Grant, uh, Geraldine and Ken live up at Raleigh. And Marcel and Eddie, pray for all of them. Pray for our children. Pray for my lost loved ones. Pray for Brad. Pray for my son-in-law, Brian. Pray for my children on vacation today. Some of them are. And uh, we miss them already. And we miss those that are not here. But we're praying for you to have a wonderful week. Amen. And the Lord take care of you. Remember to pray for all the prayer line requests been called in. Pray for our church, our nation, and God's protection over his people as we navigate through COVID-19. Amen. I used that word twice this morning. It's all right. Just remember the Lloyd Fur family. Brother Fur used to come to church here. Went to be with the Lord last Sunday. He talked to his daughter this week. Told her we'd be praying for them and all the great families. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. Let's pray. Would you stand with me? And then while you're standing, we'll let them play some music. Let you come around and give you offerings as we pray. The jug is full of TV offerings. The plate is full of mission offerings. And so if you would uh, give in those two offerings, we'll take the tithes and offerings at a later time. 
we just let you come around and go because that way nobody's, you know, having to make contact with nobody. Just put it in a plate. We love you. Thank you for being here today. Uh, all those that stream are with us. Unspoken request. I almost forgot. I'm sorry. Anybody have one you'd like to speak over here? Brother Harvey? Yeah, Ron needs a special touch. Ron needs a special touch. Somebody here in the middle? Anybody? Sister Clark. Charles having some tests tomorrow to pray for him. We see Brian back. Anybody else need a touch today? Need a special prayer? Amen. Pray for Gail. She's working. Summer's working. There's several working. Let's believe God as we pray. Amen. Brother Harvey leaves the Lord in prayer. Amen. Father, we do love you today. We thank you for everything you've done, everything you're going to do, Lord. We magnify you. And we praise your name, Lord. We thank you for everything. Give you all the praise. Bless the all for you. Everything is done, Lord, in Jesus' name. Praise your name. We thank you for love, Lord. We just worship you. We magnify you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise and all the glory for everything you've done, Lord. We magnify you. We worship you, Lord. We thank you for those who's good today. We wish there were more, but we appreciate those that are here, Lord, and uh, those that are away on vacation, those that haven't worked, those that sick. Pray for them, they get back soon, Lord. We thank you for it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. With all the living, I will seek to honor his name. I
you do for us, Lord God. We'll give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 get up and come to church this morning, man. I'm glad I'm free in the Lord. Amen. And I thank him so much for all he's done for me and my family, the way he's blessed us and touched us. Amen. And uh, we just know that he's going to do great things today. If you're free in the Lord, say amen. Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. If you're watching my stream and you're free in the Lord, not where you at, say amen. I'm glad I'm free in the Lord. Praise the Lord. I hadn't sung this song in a long time, just had it on my heart. I used to sing it many years ago. Pray for us as we sing. Well, praise the Lord. For a long time I traveled down a long, lonely road. My heart was so heavy. 
and said I sing But then I heard about Jesus. What a wonderful hour. I'm so glad that I found out he would bring me out through his saving power. Everybody sing. Thank God I am free. Yes, I'm free from this world of sin. Amen. Been washed in the blood of Jesus. Been born again. Everybody ought to say, Hallelujah, I'm saved. Yes, I'm saved by his wonderful grace. I'm so glad that I found out he would bring me out and show me the way. Just like a bird out of prison. Oh, he's taking his flight. And just like that blind man. God gave back his son, like the poor Richard Baker, found fortune and fame. I'm so glad that I found out he would bring me out through his holy name. Thank God I am free, yes, I'm free from this world of sin. Washed in the blood of Jesus, been born again. Hallelujah, I'm saved, saved, saved by His wonderful grace. I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out and show me the way. One lifetime, go on, thank you. Thank God I am free. Yes, I'm free from this world of sin. I've been washed in the blood of Jesus. Been born again. Hallelujah, I'm saved, saved, saved by His marvelous grace. I'm so glad that I. I'm so glad that I found out He would bring me out and show me the way. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I'm glad I'm free, free, free from this world of sin. If you have your Bibles, like to turn with us to the scripture reading this morning in the book of John, chapter 8. Just pick two or three verses out there. It goes so much along with what I feel like God has laid on my heart to talk to you about this morning. I think there's ever been a day, I mean, people all over the world is letting freedom ring some way or another. You know, some are letting it ring uh, by protesting and doing the things that they got the freedom in the Constitution to do. But I'm glad I'm letting it ring this morning from the pulpit. Amen. Amen. I'm letting it ring from the house of God that I am saved. Save, save, save from this world of sin. This world can do what it wants to. I'm not going to need it forever because heaven and earth will pass away. But he said his word would not fail. And John said in the word he saw a new heaven and a new earth coming down, or a new heaven coming down from God, uh, from the throne of God. Amen. And I'm looking for that. Amen. Amen. I'm looking for the newness of God. I feel like we're in a new day. And we've been set free. Amen. Amen. Let's read the scripture together. I believe it's on the board there if you can see it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Going to skip down to verse 36. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free in Indeed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let the freedom ring this morning. Somebody let it ring. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't see that tambourine. I'd hit it this morning. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I think we ought to let freedom ring this morning. I'll be glad we're in the house of God. Amen. 
here to worship him this morning. Praise the Lord. Father, we love you today. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity of prayer. I just pray that you bless this sermon. Help me to uh, give it like you give it to me, that the greatest treasure that we have in these earthen vessels is the freedom to have Jesus living on the inside of us, and therefore set free by the blood of our Redeemer. We love you. We thank you for it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glad to see you here this morning. Thank you for coming. And again, glad to see Debbie. I met to ask her before she went down and she wanted to say a word for the Lord. She still can. It's so good to have you back with us today. Amen. We appreciate you being here today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Freedom should bring clear among the saints of God than it does ever anywhere. Amen. People got right to protest. People got the right to live any lifestyle they want to in the world. You know, do anything they want to in the world. You know, wear all the clothes they want to. Take all the clothes off they want to. They can do whatever they want to in this world. But I'm glad that freedom rings loud in the saints of God that I'm free. I'm doing all the sinning I want to do this morning. I don't want to sin. Amen. I want to be in God's house. I want to be worshiping God and magnifying God and thanking Him for the freedom that we feel. Amen. In our text in verse 36, it said, if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Amen. Uh, uh, you know, on the back of the newsletter, I got ahead of myself. Let me read it. I said something there. I was fixing to relate to again. Many times that freedom is ringing, it doesn't show through in our lives. This is a false disguise that Satan tries so hard to show forth in our daily life. The truth is, Jesus paid to send that a long time ago. Amen. I like the song, I heard it this week on the tape player, that uh, on the cassette or whatever that I was listening to at the time, and it, it just said that old account was settled long ago, 2,000 years ago. He settled it. I settled it back in 1969 when I come to know the Lord as my personal Savior. Amen. The word indeed in our text means in reality, in truth, or in fact, no doubt about it. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, I like that, don't you? That we can be free indeed. Amen. That we know we're free. Nobody don't have to tell us we're free. Amen. Nobody don't have to come by and say, you can go ahead and praise the Lord. You're free. I knew that when I got up this morning. Knew that when I went to bed last night. I know that right now, that I'm free in the Lord. If you're not free in the Lord, I pray that you'll be set free today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. This should be evident in every believer. We've been to Calvary and our sin bodies is gone. We don't have any more chains. Amen. Amen. Nothing to bind us this morning. I thank God for the freedom we have in America. I do. I don't take it lightly. But the freedom I cherish most is the freedom from sin, which I have through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is so precious and valuable because no man... Nobody else could give it to you, and then nobody can take it away from you. Somebody here yeah, today. As I face every day, I'm aware of the blood is still there, and it will never, ever, ever lose its power. I plan to let freedom ring today in the house of God. I've already said the word indeed in her text means reality, truth, and fact, absolute, no doubt about it. That's what we have in Jesus today, that we've been set free. We're truly living today in the dispensation of grace. Amen. It's not what I deserve. Amen. It's what it's what I got through the blood of Jesus. Amen. I didn't deserve grace. I didn't deserve mercy. But I'm so glad it's renewed every day. Amen. We have been made free indeed. Absolute. No doubt about it. Somebody say amen. amen. I mean, if you ever were in chains of sin, then you ought to just wave your hand or something that I ain't in those chains of sin no more. Not bound by alcohol, drugs, tradition, people, things, circumstances. I have been set free by the blood of my Redeemer. His name is Jesus, and of that I am not ashamed. There were several things that, that he made us free from in shedding his blood and in coming to this world uh, 2,000 years ago, and we, we cherish every one of them. Amen. Uh, I thank God for them. Most of all, that he saved me from my sins. That's the most important thing that he did for me when he came. But I believe when he hung on the cross and said it was finished, we probably won't ever know 
the extent of what all that meant when he said it was finished. But I think the plan of salvation was finished. He died and gave up the ghost and went back to the Father and uh, is interceding for you and I today. And we know there were some things beside that. He showed back up here to earth and, and uh, you know, above 500 witnesses and disciples saw him, Mary saw him, heard him speak to her, amen, called her by name. She knew without a doubt it was him, amen. But he did so much for us on the cross, amen. I uh, heard a song this week, I think, Betty laid it back to something Miss Nanky said years ago. If we could just see on the other side of the cross, if we could just see behind the cross what he went through for us, amen. amen. Uh, the tears he cried. And I'm sure it's an old song. I heard an old group sing it this week. Uh, but uh, on the other side of the cross, amen. Uh, on the other side of the cross, you'd find him praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. Father, if it be thy will, let this cup pass from me. But not thy will, my will, but thy will be done. And so he went to the cross. But in, in freeing us, he freed us from a lot of things. He freed us from the law that they lived under at the time when God uh, came and grace dispensation started. I'm glad I don't have to do those things anymore. I still uh, observe the law in this country. That's why we're worshiping like we worship, you know, with the, uh, you know, social distance and, and not shaking hands and not hugging necks. We're trying to obey the laws of the land, but the law that was so hard for them to live under, we don't have to live under anymore. We've been set free by the blood of the Redeemer. Amen. And I thank God for it. Romans 7 and 6 says, But now we are delivered from the law, that being dead wherein we were held, that we should serve in the newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. The letter killeth, but the spirit maketh alive. Amen. And I thank God for that, Galatians 3 and 24 said, Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us into Christ, that we might be justified by faith. Amen. It's faith in that cross. Amen. Amen. And faith in that name Jesus that makes us free today. Amen. Verse 25 said, But after that faith has come, we are no longer under the schoolmaster. Amen. We don't have to uh, be subject to that anymore. We got faith in the risen Lord today. Amen. And as he lives, Amen. we live. Amen. And we'll get to go be with him someday. Amen. Praise the Lord. Galatians 5 and 18 says, If you be led of the Spirit, you're not under the law. Amen. I'm telling you, some people try to hold on to it. But I'm telling you, it was too hard for all of us. I mean, I read in there where you couldn't wear two different garments made out of two different materials. If it was cotton, it had to all be cotton. And, and you know, I'm glad I don't have to check all that out in the morning when I get dressed. Amen. I know I'm saved before I get dressed. I'm saved that I get dressed. Amen. I'm saved here this morning. And I'm saved throughout the day. Amen. And I thank God for it. Amen. Amen. Romans 6 and 14 said, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you're not under the law, but under grace. Amen. No wonder we love to sing amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a rich like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I'm seen. The second thing that we're free of, and I don't think that uh, a lot of people realize it, but we've been made free from the curse. Amen. The curse that came on the world uh, in the day of, of Adam and Eve when sin came on the scene. And, and uh, you know, as far as the devil was concerned, we were all headed for hell, and we were all going to spend eternity with him. I'm glad to disappoint him today. I ain't going Amen. home with him. I ain't living with him. I'm living with Christ for a while the ages roll on. I'll be in the presence of God because I've been delivered from the curse. Galatians 3 and 13, God, Christ, have redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. I'm glad he hung on the tree for me. I'm glad he grew the tree that he knew would be uh, the one that he would suffer on and hang on. He knew it, but he did it. And when he was on the cross, you and me were on his mind. Amen. Aren't we glad of that today? And I, I don't know, maybe I had them in the wrong chronological order, but the greatest thing I can tell you about we're free from, we're free from sin. Amen. Gone. Oh, gone at last, my uh, my simple past, God's love took it away. Amen. And that blood that he shed. Amen. Romans 6 and 6 says, Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, 
that the body of sin might be destroyed, uh, that henceforth we should not serve sin. We are not servants to sin today. Somebody say amen. amen. Aren't you glad of that? Praise the Lord. I'm so glad he found me. In love he bound me. Put his arms around me. And he led me to the shelter. Now I'm one of his own. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm so glad of that today. Uh, verse 7 of that same book, Romans 6, said, For he that is dead is freed from sin. Amen. I'm telling you, Paul said, Not I, but Christ that lives within me. Praise the Lord. I just begin to live. We'll really just begin to live when we get to heaven. But I'm telling you, I just begin to live when I found out I wasn't bound to them old paths and them old ways and the thing that I'd done while I was in sin. Amen. Verse 11 of chapter 6 of Romans and likewise reckon you also yourselves to be dead unto sin but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. He lives. He lives. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Amen. Amen. I'm alive in Jesus. Jesus is alive in me. Praise the Lord. He's got a hold of my life and he won't let go. Got a hold of my life and I don't want him to let go. Got a hold of my life and I ain't ever going to try to get loose from him. I love being in Christ and Christ in me. I'm glad I'm saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. I love him for making a way for me to do that today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, verse 22 of the same chapter says, But now being made free from sin and become service to God, not bound to God, I'm a prisoner of love. I will and toil through the heat the cold. Seek no reward in this world below, but payday will come Amen. when the pearly gates unfold. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Being made free uh, from sin and become service to God, ye have fruit and the holiness and the end ever and the end everlasting life. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Romans 8 1 said, There is therefore no condemnation to them that are in Christ, uh, to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Aren't you glad you're free from sin? Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank God I am free, 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 free from sin and this world of sin. I live in it. You don't never know what's going to happen. You don't never know what's going to be the order of the day in the morning when you get up. You don't even know what you're going to hear on the news before you go to bed tonight. Somebody hear me. Right. But I can tell you one thing I know. If I'm here or there, I'm saved in the arms of Jesus. Amen. One day I'll be safely held in his arms, never to study war no more, never to have pain again, never to have suffering again, Amen. never have to preach another funeral, never have to go to another funeral, never have to go to one myself. Amen. Somebody hear me. That's We're right. going to be free Amen. in the Lord forever. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because we are free. Amen. We're free. Free from condemnation. Romans 8, 1, as I said, no condemnation of them that are in Christ. John 5, 21, 4 said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath, hath, hath everlasting life. I didn't stutter. I want to make sure you understood that word. Amen. If you believe on him, you have. You have. You already have everlasting life from the moment you accepted him as your Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. One song writer said, from the moment I met Jesus, you life in me began, and I will never be the same again. Never. He made a lasting, everlasting difference in my life. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Amen. Aren't you glad? Free from condemnation. Praise the Lord. We're free from Satan's power. Amen. The Bible warns us about him. First Peter 5 and 8 said, Your adversary of the devil is as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Amen. Uh, walking about, huffing and puffing, trying to scare people to death. He's still trying to do that today. First John 5 and 18 said, We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. Amen. Aren't you glad? I'm safely in the arms of Jesus, held like a mother holds her babe. He got his arms wrapped all around me. Amen. 
Can't e evil thought ever harm me. He's thinking good thoughts for me and has plans for my life that I'm fulfilling as I come toward the end of my life and preaching the gospel here at the church and on TV and through streaming, going into all the world, preaching the gospel. Uh, how people have one got saved the other week in Texas. Have how, how a lady got healed in England while we were praying. I'm telling you, God is touching us Amen. through this ministry, through what we believe, and that is that we believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God, the Lamb of God that was offered for your sins and mine. That's the reason we can stand here on July the 5th, 2020, and tell you that I'm free. Amen. I got a lot of bindings in life, a lot of laws, things you can do, things you can't do. Uh, things they don't want you to do, things they won't allow you to do. But I tell you, I've been set free from sin. Amen. And that is the most wonderful thing I can tell you. And Satan ain't got no power over me. Acts 26 and 18. The Bible said to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light, from the power of Satan unto God. That's what he done for us, that they may receive forgiveness of sin and inheritance among them which are sanctified. Uh, by faith is in me. Amen. He said we live in him. We move in him. The Bible said in Jesus we live and move and have our being. If you can do this this morning, you're doing that in the Lord. Amen. Amen. You can wait amen. Both of them. You're amen. doing that in the Lord. If you can shout or say amen, you're doing that in the Lord. God's good to you. God gave us this life. Hallelujah. Made us free from condemnation. Amen. And set us free from the powers of Satan. If you had not done that, we'd all be in hell today. We'd all be suffering in the pits of hell today if God had not made a way that we could do that. And then the sixth thing that I want to tell you, and there's only two more we're about to get through here. We're free from death. John 11, 26 says, Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believe us out this. I believe it. Amen. Yes. I believe I'm alive yes, forevermore. Amen. 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 One day I'll get my glorified body. One day I'll be chained in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. Amen. But until then, I'll keep praising Him. But what I was born to my mom and daddy with this body that I have right now and keep on serving Him and worshiping Him. Someday I'll praise Him while the ages roll on, where my voice will never tire or grow old. Amen. The key will never be too high or too low. It'll just be one eternal day of praising and magnifying the Lord of heaven. We ought to let freedom ring this morning. Somebody ought to sound the alarm. Amen. The Bible says, Joel said, blow, the, blow the, the sound the trumpet, blow the alarm. Amen. Uh, sound the alarm. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Hallelujah. Let people realize we've been made free. If you haven't been made free, you can call on him right now, wherever you're at, wherever you're from right now, and be saved from your sin. We're free from death. John 8, 51 says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my sayings, he shall never see death. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Aren't you glad about that today? Second Corinthians 1 and 10 said, Who delivered us from so great a death and doth deliver in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. Amen. And I believe that he will at least someday we're going to be in his presence. Amen. And I, I, as I get ready to close, and maybe I'll close a little quicker than normal here this morning. But as I get ready to close, I'm going to give you the seventh thing that he's freed you from. He's freed us from hell. Amen. Yes, we right. do not have to go to hell. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was guilty one time, and I didn't have nothing to say. And they were coming to take me away, but the man on the cross put me in his wheel and said that I could go free, amen. Like he did the thief, that he said, this day you'll be in paradise with me. I'm telling you, if you just don't reject him too long, if you just don't put off this, the Bible said, how can we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? God's great salvation is made for you and me that we don't have to die and go to hell. We've been free. From hell, First Thessalonians 1 and 9 said, For they themselves show of us what manner of entering we had unto you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God. Psalms 9 and 17 said, The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations, all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. 
the expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. I'm telling you, we're, we're headed to a homecoming. We're headed to a glad reunion day. Amen. When the saints of the ages are going to sit at his feet and be blessed. And when all the crime and violence you hear on TV, the wicked is going to seize their troubling and the weary is going to be at rest. All of the saints of the age is going to sit at his feet and be blessed. Revelation 20 and 15 said, And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Amen. All you have to do is make your reservation. Amen. You have to sign in. Amen. You have to come to the cross. Amen. The blood's still flowing. I'm here to tell you this morning it reaches to the highest mountain. It flows to the lowest valley. The blood that gives James Chambers strength from day to day has never, will never lose its power. Hallelujah. There is still power in the blood. Somebody say amen. amen. There's still power in the blood. You don't have to be cast into that lake of fire because prior to Revelation 20 and 15 is where you're living right now. And the Bible said, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I wish somebody call on today. I wish somebody enjoy the freedom that I feel right now in my soul, knowing that God has set me free. I've been set free by the blood of my Redeemer. Revelation 1 and 18, he said, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, I don't have to go to that place. Amen. You don't have to go to that place. You don't have to be lost when Jesus comes. You can fix it up with him. You can sing like the old song. Uh, long ago, long ago, I settled it all. Yes, the old account was settled long ago for me. It's been close to 50 years that I uh, say, say got saved and gave my heart to Jesus in a tent meeting. I've been so dull or so many times growing up as a preacher's kid every Sunday. It seemed like I thought I'd done something that week I better pray again about. You know, but one day I got saved. Amen. One day I really, truly, without a doubt, got saved. And I've been saved ever since. Amen. Slipped and fell and stumbled all along the way. But I'm still saved today by the blood of Jesus, the truth. He said, you know the truth, it'll set you free. I'm telling you the truth this morning. If you'll call on the blood, there's still power in the blood. If you're sick, if you're hurting, not to mention all the other things he's done for us. Delivered us from sickness. Amen. Amen. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. If he's sick among you, let him call for the elder of the church. Let him anoint with oil and prayer of faith while he'll sick. And the Lord will raise him up. Amen. He's still raising people up. Amen. There's still, still people walking out of the hospital room. There's still people walking around on two feet. We got one of them in our fellowship. That, that The doctor said a few weeks ago wouldn't have but one foot left. When they got through cutting on him, he's still walking on two feet. Amen. I'm telling you, God's still among us. He's still among us. We've got every reason to that freedom reign this morning Amen. to praise this God of heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. I was lost, but now I'm found. I was sick when I was born. I couldn't walk for several years. My toes was in the back, but I worked all these years, and I'm walking today because Jesus lets me out of life and has it more abundant. The thief comes to steal your strength. The thief comes to steal your joy. The thief, the thief comes to steal your soul. But Jesus said, I'm come. That you might have life and have it more abundantly. I'm telling you, we're living in Him today. Praise the Lord. I just started living when I come to know the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. When I realized what it was really like, that I was really lost, that I was really on my way to hell, that I could have been forever lost, and mercy rewrote my life. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what happened to everybody here that's saved this morning. That's what happened to every one of you out there that's saved. That's what will happen to every one of you that will call upon the name of the Lord right now. Amen. Mercy or rewrite your life. You don't deserve it. We had no, nothing good have I done to deserve God's precious son. I'm not worthy of the nails they put in his hand. Amen. I'm not worthy of nothing he done for me, but his blood made me worthy. Amen. And now I'm royal priest to the holy nation, peculiar people. 
on my way to heaven and it feels good. Amen. I said, I'm on my way to heaven and it feels good. I'm saved and it feels good. I'm sanctified and it feels good. This world don't have no hold on me and it feels good. Somebody ought to get in this with me today. I'm glad I'm saved, sanctified. I'm glad I'm on my way to heaven. I'm glad I've been set free. I purpose to let freedom ring today. Let everybody I know tell it everywhere I go. Hallelujah. That I've been saved. Hallelujah. You should have seen me when he found me. Amen. You should have seen what a mess I was in when that glove was applied and just fixed everything. Amen. Amen. Tim French, my son-in-law, they're on vacation this week, but he sang a song a few years ago. Everybody's got a story. Everybody's got a song. We all a little different, but we all went wrong. Amen. Right. We all went wrong. You know what the next line says? But then Jesus came and changed everything. Amen. Amen. Then Jesus came. What a wonderful change in my life has been wrought since Jesus came into my heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus came and changed everything. Amen. And I believe because he lives, he said he that overcomes, he'll grant to sit down with us in his father's throne. As he sat down with, with his father in his throne, he'll grant us the same privilege someday because we've been made free. Amen. Amen. Thank God for freedom. Let freedom reign. Uh, let your flags fly today. I believe in this country. I thank God for this country. I pray that God will continue to be merciful to us because we don't deserve all the mercy he's given us this far. That's right. Amen. But get us back on the right track and, and, and let us overpower the powers of sin in this world today and, and live for Jesus like we never have before. Tell it everywhere we go. Sing it everywhere we go. Tell somebody about it every day of your life that you're in the presence of an almighty Amen. God. Amen. Amen. That one day is coming back for me. And uh, one songwriter said, don't you want to go with me to God's new heaven? Don't you want to go where the angels are singing? Amen. Don't you want to go where Amen. the loved ones have already gathered? Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Don't you want to go? I want to go. Amen. I want to go. I'd be willing to go right now. Amen. If Jesus would come right now, it'd, be, it'd just tickle me that the people that I'm worshiping with this morning would just all get to leave together. No more sorrow. No more pain. No more suffering. No more death. No more aggravating things happening in your life. No more troublesome devil to deal with. At the presence of the Lord, there is peace and there is joy. The Bible said forevermore. Uh, when Jimmy passed away, Brother uh, George Floyd, a pastor here in town, came to see Betty. And he told her, said, Betty, do you believe what the Bible says? And she said, I do. And he said, well, do you believe that uh, she was born in Jimmy and just died the day before or day, two days before? And said, do you believe what the Bible says? That to be absent from the body is to be present with the with the Lord. And she said, I do. He said, then you got to believe at his right hand there's joy forevermore. In his presence there's joy right. forevermore. I'm telling you, I know that. I believe that. I'm excited about going home someday. Hallelujah. To be there forever. And a, and a day. And an eternal day. To be there forever while the ages roll on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To get to see the loved ones who's, uh, who's left us down here. I tell you, when you look around, and, and, uh, some of you have been coming to church every few years. You've seen a lot of them leave since you've been here. Amen. Yeah. I've been here 40 years. I've seen a lot of them go on. i got a bigger congregation over there than I have down here. If you include the, the TV, I still got a bigger congregation. Yeah, probably if you include the Internet, I probably still got a host of people. The Bible said we're surrounded by a host that saying, come on, you can make it. Amen. Uh, we, we got loved ones over there saying, come on, James, I made it. You can make it. Come on, sister. Come on, brother. We're going home. It's just about home time. Hallelujah. Amen. I can see the Father standing at the door. Amen. Amen. I think we're just about to leave here. Amen. This world been wishing us gone. I think they're about to get their wish. Amen. Yes. I believe we're fixing to leave. Amen. And by the time you find us missing, we'll be living over there. Amen. Amen. Where there is no reminiscing about the problems and trials and the burdens we had down here below. Amen. We'll be basking in the sunlight of God's grace and mercy forever. Amen. 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 
Amen. I don't know what heaven's going to be like, but I know it's going to be wonderful. The song says, when with the saints we enter the glory land, won't it be wonderful there? Hallelujah. Won't it be wonderful there? I saw guys in a boat the other day. I told Betty, I said, that'd be Jack. Hope as he'd like to be in that boat, you know? But I said, if he's fishing in heaven, he's probably already caught some. Amen. I don't know if there are or not. I just know we won't be disappointed in heaven. Amen. Whatever you need heaven to be, I believe God has it already ready for you. Amen. Right. But Jesus will be what makes it heaven for me. Oh. And he's what made it heaven for Jacobus. Amen. Never gets to catch another fish. He's glad the Lord called him. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I Amen. said he's glad the Lord called him. I'm glad the Lord called me. Amen. 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 I'm glad I'm in his care. Hallelujah. In his care. I plan to let freedom ring right now and forever that I'm free. Thank God. Amen. I'm free as they come back to the music. I'm going to finish up a little early. But I just want you to know that we're free from hell. Amen. Amen. All these things that I preached to you this morning, we're free from. We don't have to go to hell. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The devil often reminds us of our past. We need to remind him of his future. That's right. He's going Amen. to hell. I ain't going to hell with him. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. One angel will come down and cast him. And throw him at that bottomless pit. Amen. Amen. I hope I'm there to see it. Amen. Yes. Amen. I want to see him. Jesus, that's a wonderful thing. Jesus said when they told him about even the devils are subject to us through your name, he said, I saw Satan fall. Amen. Yes. Amen. He's a fallen foe. Amen. Don't let him buffet you too much. Just hold on to Jesus. And someday you'll be shouting, freedom, freedom. Hallelujah. Thank God, free, free at last. Amen. When our feet touch the streets of gold. Hallelujah. What a day. What a wonderful day. If you don't know the Lord, why don't you come to him right now? If you're watching my live stream, why don't you call on him as your Savior? Wherever you're from, you can text us and tell us you're in Texas or, or South America or over in the foreign land somewhere. You can tell us where you're at. That's not important. What's important is Jesus saves even you and even me from wherever we are. Hallelujah. He saves from the uttermost to the guttermost. He saves those that are so low that they don't think they never get up. Hallelujah. 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 You can get up in Jesus' name. God bless you. Be saved today. In Jesus' name. I call you saved today. Same place of the Lord. Come on and shout aloud His praises to proclaim. Let every tribe and nation with love and adoration come on, praise His holy name. Come on and
We used to sing songs, and if we could not say a word, I'd just wave my hand. Amen. We can do both of this morning. We can say, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And I, He so earth, good will to all me, and that's what He intended for that. And I got Jesus today. Summer and Charlie's things, that's enough. Amen. And I believe that it is. God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. You can have stream with us. Be back tonight at 6 o'clock. We'll be back, Lord willing. Six o'clock sharp. You're ready to worship and praise the Lord until tonight. You do a stream of worship. We'll say good night. Good evening. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining us.